Mm. Like I said, there's uh, quite nothing like it. I can eat all of these right now and more. that we're gonna make today is gonna be a special recipe because this is my mother's recipe and I have a lot of fond memories from this and especially the best part this is gonna be made as an appetizer or finger food so it's gonna be skewered onto very small skewers and uh, it's gonna be fried and uh, it every single time it comes out amazing without further ado let's uh, go ahead and see what this is gonna be comprising of just like all of our recipes this is a very very simple recipe with very few ingredients as you can see here salt and pepper don't really count and this is all we have besides that uh, the flavor and the, and the fun of this thing is in the technique and uh, how you prepare it so we have our uh, three kind of uh, peppers we have our yellow orange and green we have our tomatoes and we have a large onion we have salt pepper soy sauce vinegar and uh, something that uh, uh, some people have reservations with this is MSG also called Chinese salt or Ajinomoto uh, but I don't mind using it now and then and uh, especially with what it does to the to your food and the flavor uh, they say it brings out the umami so uh, that's definitely something what I want in some of my dishes I'll be using two different kind of skewers uh, just to see how they come out uh, you don't want your skewers any bigger than this uh, so these two skewers uh, this one is uh, four inch and this is a three and a half inch skewer uh, this is probably the best size that i like to use for these the reason behind that is because you want this to be a finger food and you want people to be able to grab it and take it into their mouth in one bite and then pull it out so if you, anything longer than this uh, you don't want your guests to be poking themselves in the back of their mouths right so uh, this is the best length that you can get uh, anywhere between three and a half to four inch so let's go ahead and uh, get started with our preparation all right so we're gonna go ahead and start up with our prep for um, for the shark lake as you can see we have very few ingredients so we can start off with our bell peppers uh, these are decent sized bell peppers and uh, so we're gonna cut them off I like to do them from the side so it gives me good even pieces and uh, this leaves this thing on the side so if you want you can take these things off the membranes if not you can leave them on I'll do it for all the peppers so the next thing what we want is um, you want to be careful about the size of the of the cuts that you're making some making probably them uh, around like three quarters of or maybe about an inch uh, you don't want them to be too bigger than that uh, the main thing is everything that you cut has to be the same size um, so once it goes on the skewer and goes in the pan uh, it starts cooking evenly and uh, gets done at the same time all right, so once we have uh, done our peppers, we're gonna move to the onion. I'll cut that roughly in half. So once we have our uh, onions cut um, and peeled off, so as you can notice, I, I took a big onion because it has really thick rings and uh, they'll be making it very easy for us to uh, skewer them onto uh, the shash licks. So now we're gonna cut up our onions uh, the same way we did with the peppers pretty much the same size and we're gonna repeat the process uh, with a few more rings for the onions right, so we'll repeat the same process with our uh, tomatoes I'm gonna cut the ends off cut it into half and try to get the same kind of size that we had for onions and peppers don't worry about the pulp inside uh, it's gonna get dropped off as it gets marinated or after it gets into the pan so once we have all of our veggies cut up we'll move them to the bowl okay, so now that we have done our veggies uh, we're gonna start doing our chicken as you can notice this is a fairly small uh, chicken breast you can take it bigger or you can take two of them so same thing with the chicken uh, really quickly we're gonna cut up uh, little cubes there they comply with the size that we had for our veggies and uh, that's pretty much it for the chicken too all right so for our marinade it's gonna be very very simple so for our marinade we're gonna use three tablespoons of vinegar two tablespoons of soya sauce salt and pepper as needed or as per your taste always try to use freshly ground salt and pepper 
uh, makes a big difference. We'll use a pinch of MSG, which is uh, Chinese salt, and we'll add this to our mixture of chicken and vegetables. All right, so guys, uh, we have just taken our um, chicken and our vegetables out. Uh, it was barely, uh, not even in there half an hour, probably uh, 20, 25 minutes. We've taken it out. Uh, we're gonna give it a good flip. And as you can clearly see, I have a very high proportion of uh, vegetables because my uh, chicken breast turned out to be a lot smaller than what I thought it was. So we're gonna do with uh, whatever number of skewers we can get. So I'm gonna start off uh, with uh, using these kind of skewers. And uh, I like to put um, the pepper first because it's uh, nice and uh, tough and it holds its end pretty good. Right after that, I like to go with a piece of uh, tomato. Then I like to go with the chicken right after that. Then we do our onion. So you can increase the ratio or uh, change the order as you like. And then the end, I'm gonna use different color pepper. And this is gonna be our thing. And uh, as you can see here, uh, you want it to be very, very small. Uh, this is just barely big enough for someone to put in their mouth and pull it out and it's not gonna poke them towards the back of their, their mouth. So this is one and we're gonna do the rest of them really quick. So again, first we're gonna use the pepper. Then we're gonna go with a piece of uh, tomato. Followed by a piece of chicken. And that's followed by our onion. And we'll do a yellow pepper at the tail end. So we will do all of these in the same way and uh, they shouldn't be bigger than this. And that's what the goal is because uh, part of the flavor and the taste and the enjoyment of uh, chicken shashlik is that uh, you can just pick this thing up and put that in your mouth without having to figure out what do I put with what. And uh, just one bite gives you all the goodness in there. You have your vegetable, your chicken, your flavorings, uh, the marinade, and of course uh, it's gonna be fried. So it's gonna have the charring as well. So we'll do all these and once they're done, they're gonna be ready for the pan. All right, so guys, we have uh, skewered uh, a decent amount of uh, shashlik uh, with our chicken and our vegetables. And uh, as you can see, the marinade is still there. So we're gonna start uh, putting them in the pan. I'm using a cast iron pan here. Um, I, you know, I love cast iron pans and then the fewer uh, utensils you use, the better. So this one thing, so, so guys, you, you don't need to have 500 uh, pots and pans and fancy utensils at your home or wherever to be a, you know, to do good dishes. Uh, you just need a few different uh, items and uh, some, uh, some good techniques and ideas and uh, you can whip up some pretty good food. So we're gonna start putting our shashlik in here and uh, this is the sound you're looking for, the sizzling sound. It means our oil is at the right temperature. And these will get done very, very quickly. Uh, probably not even five minutes. They're gonna be off this pan. Uh, maximum uh, six, seven minutes, depending on what size pan you have. And you can do that in batches. You don't wanna overcrowd your pan because then the temperature of the oil drops too fast, too quick. And that's not good for your shashlik. You want them to be at a good consistent heat. All right, so once you have a decent amount in there, you're gonna go ahead and uh, let them sit there for probably a couple of minutes. And at this point, you wanna start moving them around because they have all have four sides. So what we can do is we can flip them really quickly so all sides are getting done evenly. I mean, these uh, the beauty of this thing is that the size of the vegetables and the chicken is so small, no matter which way you flip them or cook them or keep them, uh, they will get done. And uh, you know, uh, all the flavors are gonna be incorporated into one bite, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of this dish. Whenever these, uh, these are made or I've made these, uh, we never ever had any leftovers for these things. Uh, no matter how, how much you make, your guests are going to be always uh, wanting more once you run out. That's how good these things are. So keep on flipping them really quick. Keep an eye on your flame. If you need to increase it, you can do that. If you need to bring it down, you can do that. Uh, I wish you could smell uh, 
the, the, the flavors coming out of this thing, the smell coming out of these things is, is amazing. You have your soy sauce, your vinegar, which is an amazing combination, uh, along with your MSG uh, or Ajinomoto. It's just doing wonders. And then you have a hint of salt and pepper in there. And uh, it's just amazing smell. So at this point, they're pretty much all done. I'm just gonna make sure I can get some good uh, charring or crispiness on all sides for the vegetables. It's good for the presentation. All right, guys, so uh, this is the color that we're looking for. As you can see, we are getting charring and crispiness on the edges. Uh, everything has shrunk in size a little bit. This tells us this is uh, uh, pretty much all done at this point, and we can start taking them out and start doing our plating. Only if you can uh, smell how great these things uh, are smelling right now. Alright folks, uh, so the moment that we've been waiting for, uh, these are again small finger foods. Uh, they can be used as appetizers, uh, but don't be uh, misled by their size. These things carry a punch of flavor uh, like nothing else. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a shot. I'm going to start with this one. Mmm. Like I said, there's uh, quite nothing like it. I can eat all of these right now and more. Uh, it has a flavor of uh, soy sauce, your vinegar coming, and especially the um, uh, MSG or the Ajinomoto, or the Chinese salt that we used in there. That just does uh, wonders for it. And uh, the flavor that it brings out is called umami, which is unlike any other flavor. Um, I'm gonna try one more of this. Mm. See the fact that you can eat this thing in one bite off of this skewer? that's another one of the things that makes this thing great uh, i can't stop eating these things so i'm gonna sign up over here right now and um, if you guys like the video please do go ahead and subscribe and share it with your friends and family it takes a lot of effort to bring you these videos uh, so for us to keep on making these uh we would like you guys to support us uh, do go ahead and subscribe share it with people and uh, leave us comments let us know what things you would like changed in there if you like any other recipes that would like you would like to be included in our next videos and until then um, until next time this is more eats <laughs>